So, is HVAC hard? Well, stay tuned, I'm about to tell you. The short answer is, yes, it is hard. It's, it's, it can be a very difficult career. It's, it's a difficult career to get started in, but even beyond that, there's a lot to understand. There's a lot to know about this trade. There's a lot of, uh, of heavy science that goes into this equipment. And you, you, to really be the best that there is out there, you really want to have that understanding of those things. And that takes time. It's not something anybody gets overnight. But it's something I think that most anybody could actually do. Uh, you can definitely do it. It's a matter of how much effort you put in. But, you know, not everybody is going to be working on large chiller equipment and things right out the gate. What you'll be working on is something more like this. And so, where a lot of people get all, uh, get mixed up is they get so focused on trying to figure out and understand how to fix everything that they miss the pure fundamentals of what this trade is and that is the the science behind it uh there, there are a lot of basic principles that you've got to start with and i'm going to tell you it takes time to grasp them it takes time to understand them and it's not something you're going to do overnight it, you're going to have to put a lot of work into um figuring this stuff out every single one of us that have any real future in this career and this trade has has had to go through this. You're not the first, and you're not going to be the last. Um, so, yeah, that's just one side of it is, is the the science behind it, the understanding of it. But don't let it scare you. It's just going to require some work to do it. And the other side of that is, you got to be ready for the hard work. Okay, this trade it's a heavy mechanical trade. Even if you do, it don't matter if you do residential. Or if you're working commercial, light commercial, heavy commercial, industrial, it doesn't matter what aspect of this trade you get into. It it is a lot of hard physical labor. Now there's things that down down the road as you develop your career, you know you can get beyond that. You can get away from that, and you can have a more comfortable career that's not so physically demanding. But you're not going to start there. You're not going to start at a place where it's that easy it just it doesn't happen and so it's gonna require a lot of work it's gonna require you to put a lot of effort in to make your career happen and um, you know it, it goes back to what I'm saying about schooling and, and understanding the science behind this trade the next thing to be prepared for is it's hot and it's cold so, you know, I work here in the south and it's it's hot most of the year round. And it's very hot, very humid, and it's very taxing physically, okay? Um, and people who work up north, it gets very cold and it stays very cold. Me personally, I can't, I struggle with that level of cold, but I'm, I'm used to the heat, I can take the heat, you know, and vice versa for some of those guys up north. And so... That's something to be prepared for. That's something that you're going to have to be ready to face. Well, if you're doing residential, you're going to be in really hot attics. You know, if you're doing light commercial and or even heavy commercial, you're going to be on some really hot roofs. And so, it's just things to consider. It's just things to be prepared for. And no matter how much sugar coating that can be given to it, that's just the reality of what we face in the trade. But here's the deal, all right? Despite it all, you can make a life here. You can make a real life here in this trade. I'm not gonna lie to you and try to pretend like this isn't going to be hard and this isn't going to be a challenge. Uh, it doesn't matter what trade you go into, whether it be HVAC or plumbing or electrical or whatever, you name it. They're all going to have a lot of their own difficulties and challenges and physical demands that you're going to have to be prepared for. And so, end of the day though, you know, I think what scares people the most is the actual science behind it. While there is a lot to know, if you can understand the basics, 
If you can understand just a few basic principles, you're golden. You'll be good. And it'll get you started. You're not going to learn everything about this trade in school, overnight, or even in a couple of years. It's going to take you years of work and study and, and practice to really hone yourself in this trade. And again, something to be prepared for. So I hope this interests you. I, I really hope that you want to take a real interest in this trade. <laughs> but I want you to know what you're getting into. And I want you to be prepared for the challenges you're about to face. It's HVAC time checking out.